Hello everyone and welcome back. Today's video is on how to add swashes to words in Cricut Design Space. Swashes are also known as glyphs that are extended from the left and right side of a word. Most script fonts will have the ability to add swashes and today I am showing you how to access them. Let's go ahead and click on the text and type in a word. I chose the word welcome because this is for a doormat I am actually making at the moment. We're going to make a duplicate of the word and I am working with the font O oh Stylish. So let's change the font now. I am making the words a little bit bigger so you can see. Next, make the letter spacing smaller so the words flow nicely together. And then I'm going to ungroup the words because sometimes the letter spacing button doesn't always equally align the words. I'll zoom in so y'all can see. Once you're done, highlight all of the words and group it. Now we need to find all of our fonts. They can be found in the application font book on a MacBook. We are going to find the font O Stylish, and here you can see all of the letters, symbols, and you guessed it, swashes from the font. Not all fonts all have swashes. Usually when I download a font, I automatically go into font book and check to see if they have them. If so, I'll leave a little star sign next to the font in my fonts document as you can see here. And if you need assistance on downloading a font, please check out my Defont tutorial video. I'll insert a card right here. So now you can see that each letter is located located here and you can zoom in and out that way it's easier to find what you're looking for. Now I'm going to scroll and find the letters I need which in this case will be the letters W and E. The W needs to have a left swash and the E needs to find a right swash. When you find it, select the letter then copy it or you can click command C on your keyboard. Once you have it, go back into Cricut Design Space and paste where the W should go or click command V on your keyboard. Do the same thing again for the E. Then you can click the letter spacing button and align and ungroup the letters to closely connect them. When you're done, highlight and group the letters and you are all set. Look at the difference between the two. I hope everyone found this tutorial helpful and if you did, please like and comment below what you thought and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like mine. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!